is Indy and today I am back. <laughs> if you didn't go check out my last video talking about my side project then please go check that out and give me some support. I would love that so much. But today I'm here to talk about so many things happening in my life. A life update and a book haul from I guess this year. I haven't done a book haul this year. It's August. Who am I? I didn't buy that many books but I have some that I recently got in the mail and just ones I've collected in the last couple months that I'm so excited to talk about so without further ado I'm gonna get into some life updates and then the book haul. So as I said if you didn't check out my last video I talked about my side project which is the main focus in my life at the moment. I'm working on that so hard and I love it so much other than obviously my full-time job. If you want to find out some more information about that please go check that out. Uh, the second thing I guess which is also book related in a weird way is I'm going to VidCon again the second Australian VidCon on August 31st to September 2nd. Hi guys I'm just gonna Emma Chamberlain you today and edit in things of me correcting things that I filmed like a month ago. Um, VidCon happened, that was two weeks ago, video is coming soon for that one. So, you know, not that long away, like 20 days away I think from when I'm filming this, so that's very exciting. So I'm looking forward to going, I'm feeling a little bit sheepish about going because I haven't filmed a video in a while, so here we are trying to make a comeback before I go to VidCon <laughs> to see people. But I'm really stoked again to go to Melbourne and meet up with some other creators and I even saw there's some sort of like booktube meetup y thing and I like almost started crying when I read that on the agenda. So I'm really really excited about that and I hope to vlog better this year. I kind of did a little one last year, I never put it up on my channel. But I'm hoping to vlog a little bit better. Another huge thing that's been happening in my life is I've been doing pole fitness this year. I pre previously dabbled a little bit in it before. But this year I started doing it properly. I started doing static, which is with just normal sort of like pole. And I've been doing spin as well, where the pole spins and while you're on it, which is like the sort of more pretty style. So I've been really enjoying that, getting bruises over my entire body and working really hard going a couple times a week for that. Uh, recently on the weekend I did a competition which was crazy. I don't know why I decided to do it but it was an in-house competition at my studio. I didn't unfortunately place but all of my best friends did so that was really really amazing. It was such a good experience. I've never been so exhausted and so bruised in my entire life but it was so great just being able to show friends and family what I spend hours a week and money on was just like my routine and just doing pole and so it was a really really great experience. I am low-key happy to say that it's over because that was the longest week of my life but I really really enjoy doing pole and I hope to keep going at least until I move to Brisbane. If not when I move back to Brisbane I'll do it there. I don't really know but for now I'm really really enjoying it uh, and I just I love it so much so if you haven't tried pole fitness give it a go. It's just so rewarding. The next topic that I mentioned just before was was my holiday. I'm going on an American holiday with my best friend Caitlin. She is one of the hosts of the Better Words podcast that I happen to be on slash one of my best friends slash just a book lover slash a like aerialist pole person that yeah she's just everything. She's <laughs> sprinkles into my life everywhere but I'm so freaking excited to go on a holiday with her to America. We are going to New York, we're going to Orlando, we're going to Vegas and we're going to LA. <gasps> I'm so excited just to visit all these places. I've been to all these places previously before, uh, once when I was nine and once when I was 18. So, you know, I'm very grateful to be going back to America for a third time. Like, I, I feel so blessed. But this time I am paying for it all myself. But I'm so excited just to go to Disneyland and go visit places in LA that YouTubers talk about all the time. Oh, we're just gonna have the best time going to Broadway like every night. <laughs> Although we can't buy tickets online in Australia because we don't have credit cards. So that, that is a problem we're working on. But I will be going uh, for all of October. So I'm really, really excited to be going on a holiday. So I have so much coming up for the rest of the year at least. And of course then by the time that happens it'll be Christmas before anyone knows it. But that was just a few things I wanted to update you on with what's happening. Um, reading wise, I haven't been doing a lot because I've been working at my business and going to poll a lot recently. So I'm hoping to possibly get back into reading. I want to do a lot more audio booking when I'm uh, doing my books up for my market. I think that that's what I need to do. I've been watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians a lot while 
doing it. So I think I definitely need to get back into audiobooking while I'm folding. So I'm doing a two-in-one job. But by currently reading, I have started uh, The Clockwork Scarab by Colleen Gleason. This one came out in like 2014, like a long time ago. I did try and read it a few years ago when got a few pages in and was not really feeling it. I'm still not super feeling it. I'm just not sure what I'm in for like reading wise at the moment. I'm not sure what I feel like. So it's, it's, I'm not enjoying it so much just because I'm not sure what sort of state that I want to be in. So I have also picked up Air of Fire because I had been audiobooking the series again to prepare myself for the grand finale coming out this year slash I need to read Tower of Dawn before that happens. So I have been audiobooking this one and recently sort of picked up the reading version but I'm gonna try and I think audiobook it since I've already read it. But it's been really amazing rereading this series again because I just forgot lots of details that happened throughout the series and sort of how we got from book two to book three with the such a dramatic change. So I really really enjoyed seeing these characters again and seeing relationships grow and oh Oh, I can't wait to read Tower of Dawn and for book six, uh, I can't remember the title right now, I'm gonna kill myself in editing. Right, on to the book haul. I have uh, a lot, but not that many at the same time, but like, I don't know, a, a lot because I haven't been reading, but by usual standard, this is like nothing. But anyway, I'm gonna get into some stories and why I have books. The first one I picked up is Night Swimming by Steph Bow, and I went to a event in Brisbane in May. She was there, uh, it was a YA event, essentially, and she was there talking with another author, and she was just talking Talking, like having a discussion about their books and everything and Steph is only 24 and this is her third book I believe she wrote this one when she was 16 and now this is an Australian book obviously I felt really proud actually supporting Australian authors because I'm a terrible person who only buys like American authors or English so I'm so sorry but I felt really inspired by the way she talked about this book uh, it's set in sort of country Australia it's contemporary about different sorts of people and I just really sounded in interesting to me I don't know I don't usually like this sort of genre at all. Australian contemporary is like definitely not my thing but I just really really wanted to get it. I wanted to support her and it just felt like I would actually enjoy this story. I have not as yet picked it up but I only got it like a month ago I think so I'm hoping to uh, dive into this one soon to get my Australiana on. <laughs> Moving on to American authors as I do I have The Dazzling Heights by Catherine McGee. This is the second book in The Thousandth Floor by her. I believe the third one I forgot what it's called right now is coming out later this year. I have pre-ordered it. Think I don't know. I had a bit of an issue with Book Depository, so I think it might be pre-ordered, but I'm not sure if it will actually get to me. But I love these covers so much. The first one was stunning, and I was like, I have to continue with the series one because of the story, and two because of the covers. Like, are you kidding me? So this one follows on from our last dramatic storyline, very Gossip Girl esque, like futuristic. I just, I really, really, really loved this series, so I'm excited to dive into book two and hopefully book three when that comes out. I think it's this month, but I, I don't even remember. I'm so not up to, to like standards of where books and things are coming out. I have no idea. The third book I have to show you is Without Merit by Colleen Hoover because I stan Colleen Hoover. I just, I'm an auto buy author with her. Anything she pulls out, I'm like, I'm there. And I thought I was up to date. I think I was like, I think this is the last one I have to get to be up to date. But I'm pretty pretty sure she like announced a new one or another one's coming out soon. And I'm just like, why? I was so up to date. I was so excited. I was like, yes, I've got everything. Colleen, I'm ready. I think I've read most of her books. I think I have maybe two or three that I haven't read. There's going to be so much romance, so much heartbreak, a dramatic storyline, a contemporary. I, I just love Colleen's stories so much and I just, I cannot wait to dive into this one. I recently read It Ends With Us and that one was like soul shattering. I was like depressed after reading it. <laughs> so I am so excited to dive into another Colleen Hoover book soon, but not too soon. Alrighty, and the last three books I have to show you, I'm gonna have to put these down immediately because they are very heavy. I got the last three books in the Outlander series by Diana Gabaldon. I have A Breath of Snow and Ashes. I have, oh God, <laughs> these are enormous. An Echo in the Bone and I have Written in My Own Heart's Blood. I finally have the complete series. I think these are out of order. I'm gonna have to change it because it's gonna kill me otherwise and people are gonna yell at me. 
I finally have the entire series on my shelf. I Instagrammed it because I was so freaking proud when I actually got them. So I'm so happy. Not that I have read the book four still. I've tried twice. And I've seen the trailer for season four, and I'm like, I don't know what's happening. I have to read the book before the thing comes out. That's okay. It comes out in November. But, like, I always wait till the DVD comes out in Australia, like, I don't know, in, like, March or April. So, like, I'm fine. But it's such a big book. I'm like, am I going to make it? I have to know what's happening before the TV show comes out. I can't be that person. So, I'm really, really excited to have those ones. And finally, my parents are both reading them. I think my mum's on the eighth book and my dad's on the seventh, I believe. I don't know. They're, like, racing each other to, like, finish them. And I'm just, like, here, starting, like, years before them, being like, hi, I'm still on, like, book four. It's fine. <laughs> but I'm so proud of them for getting into the series and that, like, I showed them the way into the series. But, yay, I'm just happy that I have them all and I don't know I just now have a complete shelf down here although they're not there right now but they're there <laughs> so that's it for my book haul I think I've talked about a few of the books that I was going to talk about but I, I've mentioned them here and there I have bought a few of the other Harry Potter books of course this year as well with the um, the illustrated uh, Prisoner of Azkaban and like the Fantastic Beasts and all those sorts of things so I don't really need to show those ones but I have also received those ones this year the last thing I want to mention before I go is I want to say rest in peace to Shadowhunters I am so sad that it's over I know I had a a lot of difficulty with the show uh, in previous years I didn't really like it because I just thought it was a bit stupid in the way they were changing it but it's really sad to see it go actually I still you know haven't rewatched episode 9 and 10 and done my review for them because I don't know I can't bring myself to do it <laughs> especially with it ending now I'm like I'm so sad and like I know they wrap filming everything the other day because obviously they have filmed part uh, 3 of season 3 and then they're gonna they filmed obviously the last maybe was it two episodes or whatever they were doing there was supposed to be 12 episodes left so I'm really sad that it's over I I can't believe they cancelled it because I didn't have enough funding so I'm still holding out a hope that uh, we might be able to save it there has been a lot of crowd funding and I'm really really excited to see if someone else picks it up but it's not looking very promising knowing that they're gonna try and fit the last uh, few books into you know I think 12 or two episodes or whatever it was so I'm a bit apprehensive about that happening because I already have some issues with how they were doing things but I'm also happy that we're getting a final sort of wrap up and we're not just leaving it at the end of book four. So that's everything I need to share with you guys today. Yay! Thank you for listening to me drivel on about life updates and a book haul and talking about Shadowhunters. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you in my next video. See you then. Bye! Then go please uh, again to get to go to Melbourne and meet up some book with uh, Meet up with some other VidCon... Shit! <laughs>